Okay, um, so for today's vlog, we're going to do uh, something I've had on my bucket list to do for a long time. That's going to be to see if the phone can prop against the napkin holder without falling over. Um, the second part of our agenda for today is we're going to mail our friend Kevin a banana. If you're a dedicated watcher of the vlog, you would know that Kevin was on the lost episode of the vlog. Um, it was up for about a day uh, several months ago and then removed immediately thereafter because um, sometimes it'd be that way. So first thing you want to do when mailing fruit is secure your fruit. In this case we have a banana. I chose a sharpie to address the fruit with um, because it will adhere to the banana. I'm about to address the fruit. This is a sometimes delicate process because you know you want to make sure that you're really correctly addressing the fruit. You want to make sure you get the full address on there. Um, we're gonna not we're not gonna show the full address just for security purposes um, but yeah also I'd like to note that Kevin has no idea that this banana is coming in the mail. So it'll be a surprise for everybody. Quick location change. I had to um I had to secure the zip code for for the mailing location, completely obscure and not seen by anybody. And now we're going to put approximately about $4 worth of stamps on this banana. So it would be the correct postage to mail something under 13 ounces. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult trying to get this many stamps because there's not that much space on a banana. You see, I have to wrap them around all sections of the banana. Um, we're currently using Christmas themed stamps because they were left over. You know, all is calm, all is bright. So far we've got one of four dollars on the banana. And uh, looks like we might only have room for three dollars on the banana, but we'll see. We shall see. I fully expect to get an Oscar nomination for this video. Um, I wouldn't wouldn't take anything less. I think the real, like, if this, this makes it to Kevin's home, I would love to see his face. We might have to get a reaction vlog of him on the phone or something. I think the real thing I'd love to see is the post office person's face when they, oh, oh don't want to see the address there. See all these stamps? It's two bucks worth. The post office people's face when they see this hot tamale in the mail. I'm going to pause it here because this is getting a little boring. Two stamps left to put on the banana to equal the whole four. Now we are going to be able to fit it, luckily. Um, I, I, would, I would like to show you guys where the final stamp is going to go on my favorite location, which would be 
uh, this fa la 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 stamp. It will go right on the stem of said banana. I'm gonna just wrap it around here, wrap it around here nice and tight. And uh, we're gonna go put it in the mail. Bye, guys. Here we are. Um, we're on our way to the mailbox after some objections from family members as to um, what I was doing. Won't go into any detail there, but we're on our way. Stop! Our, we've got our we've got our banana, we've got our mailbox, and we're gonna we're gonna try and do this with one hand because I'm leaning out of a car. Um, hope we can see this. I would say that that was a smashing success, or rather, a banana success.